Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's finally time to summon all these scrolls we've been saving. Let's get into it. All right, so I just have one transcendent scroll, uh, three legendary attribute, ten legendary, seven LDs, six of each element, and 166 mystical scrolls. Before we get started on this, we're going to check the event summons first, see what we get, so we know what not to summon just in case. There's a savannah here, and I summon the savannah on the transcendence. I just pick up, I pick the other option. But let's see what we get from here. I was looking for a savannah or a belio. Those are my two most wanted units. Um, Wusa actually is one of the units that I've been missing out on and I need. Let's see, Alicia, really good monster, one of my favorite monsters. I don't know if you guys know that, but I love that bee. Nana, also one of the baddies, you know. I really love that bee too. Um, honestly, as I'm thinking about it right now, I might just get another dupe Nana, but we'll see. Uh, the Fire Striker, Douglas, really good, like him. You know, maybe I'll go for him too, and then I think that's Momo. Honestly, these are all really good units. I already have Alicia, so I'm not going to pick her. Nana's, it's, it's a tough pick so far. Um, I'll show you guys what I get in another video, because grinding these points out, is, it's a pain. But it's time to summon. If I remember correctly, I got a very special surprise very early on. Let's see what it is. All right, so we got to pick between a dupe Vanessa and a dupe Oki. What do I pick? Dupe Oki. I'm going to have to feed that for a blessing because I don't need either of these two anymore. Um, honestly, I don't think having a dupe of either is even useful. So we're just going to craft a blessing and we're going to go back into these summons. Remember, I'm looking for a Savannah or a Belio. Those are my two most wanted units. Savannah is good all around, you know. You use your PvE, PvP, really good. And the Belio, I just pretty much just want him for arena defense. Because I feel like he'll make my defense more annoying and toxic. A Hypno Meow. Alright, we got a Water Hypno Meow. Nice. These new units are pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm gonna build them. Uh, we'll see in the future. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll build them just for a video, just to mess around with them in Guild War or something. New Lightning, Scoble. Good unit, you know. I think I have two built. Might build another one. Really good unit for Guild War and Siege. Just make that guy thick with HP and you're good a bunch of summons no lightning it's okay actually for some of the lightning I'm looking for fusion 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 mons uh, because I am gonna be summoning 11 Baligers or summoning I'm gonna be fusing a late I can't speak right now sorry guys 11 Baligers ooh what's this mm, not useful so I can scale up my Odin. I'll show. I'll probably like post a short or something whenever I finish that. It's been a long work in progress. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. He's just barking at something. Let's see. A Fire Joker. Okay. Nice. Just want to see more lightning. Come on, come to us. Stop being greedy. Another lightning. Okay. Nice. Water boomerang. Okay. Cool. Hopefully I get a Martina. Water Sylphid. Ooh, back to back. Is that another? Yeah, another Water Hypnomail. Nice. What do you guys think about these new units? Are you guys going after them? There is one new unit that pops out in this foreshadowing that made this such a difficult choice for me but 
You guys will see what happens. Let's see, what else? What else? What else? The lightning. Water Lapis. Trash Mon. I'm just kidding. She's good, but I wouldn't really use her unless you're a beginner player, I guess. She's still good, though. Still really good. Alright, so I'm going to store these Mons. I think I'm going to cut this short and just chop it out. So I'll see you back in a second. My laptop fan is just popping off right now. So if you guys hear that, I am sorry. Let's go back to this summon sesh. Bunch of three stars. Not really useful right now because I don't have any six stars that I need to build. Aside from whatever gets summoned from this. But that event's pretty good. It gives you a... Is it five to six star scroll? I forgot what it's called, but just use that for your transcendence or whatever. Not five, you pop out. And then also an awakening scroll. I recommend using that for a net five as well. Okay, delay lightning, and yeah. So this was the pain in the butt for me to choose. I had to ask people in chat. I did not know what to pick. You know, I want Abelio really bad. But this Fire Shadow Caster is actually a really good monster and he seems really interesting. But I couldn't decide what I wanted. And it took me a while, it took me probably like 10 minutes to, to figure this out and then come back to the summon session. Uh, as you can see, I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I ended up choosing Abelio just because I really wanted him um, and I feel like he will help me progress more than the fire shadow caster fire shadow caster seems really good right now in RTA, but I'm not an RTA player don't really plan to be um, Maybe in the future, but for now I am fine All right, let's get back into it. Bunch more three stars not much use you know let's talk about abelio i guess in the meantime so why did i want him well it's basically because of his passive that oh when hit no meow nice uh his passive allows a heal once anyone on the team goes below 40 percent hp so he's basically anti-cleave and if you have good resist on him he boosts his attack bar up to 100% cuts in like a nemesis healer and heals up the team which most of the time the enemy team does not have enough damage to kill them once they're once their skill threes and all their OP skills have been used they don't have enough damage to clear the defense with an ability on it uh, shout out to the people in 113 that helped me out. I think it was Adriano and Arctic Pyro that helped me out, so shout out to them. But let's see. Still nothing. Still nothing. Pretty pretty boring summon session. Uh, lightning. There you go. I needed that actually. I needed that for fusion. So that saved me one monster from that I needed to fuse. Um, what else was I going to say about Abelio? Why, why am I... Ooh, I need to skid up for uh, the water one. So, that's food. Uh, let's see. Time to go back to riding Abelio's ball sack. Uh, what, else, what else about him? I don't know. He, he's just an annoying monster. If you guys dealt with him before, you guys know why. That's pretty much like self-explanatory that's all i can say um but yeah hopefully he continues to get me some defense wins and pushes me to g3 because that's what i'm aiming for i just want to get g3 already and i've been patiently grinding to get a g3 for a while all right ran out of mysticals i'm gonna use the refund event to get 60 more summon up see what I get 
Like, I still gotta finish this Summoner's Way quest, so I'll post it whenever I, I do it. The reason why I've been holding back on that one is, uh, well, yeah, because I'm, I'm too focused with the other fusion project right now. Draco, okay. Don't need him anymore. He's a really good monster for Guild War defense and Siege defense. Uh, if you guys know about that Odin, Draco, Theo uh, comp. Really good monster. If he uses his skill 3. A lot of, a lot of storage right here. Storage mons. Fodder mons. Five more scrolls. Can we get another nat 5? No. Can we get a LD nat 5 though? That'd be insane. Because I still need one. Nope. Light Elven Ranger. Dark Kabila. I can't. I don't have a nickname for that guy. Just dark Martial Artist. Light Inferno. And a Darien. I think I got back to back Darien's. Yeah, so I guess that's not that bad. Just in case I decide to build another one. 2 a.m. Or even just keep them regular because. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it worth to gain a Darien or not? A Trevor. Let's see what else. This is a Briand. Yeah, Briand. Fire one's pretty good. Might build them for guild content. Galleon. I think. I think I don't need to build any more. Water Dryad. I just want an LD4. Give me Martina or something. Give me a Kinky. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I got a bed. I think I wanted to feed her at the time. But I ended up keeping her. Uh, I wanted to feed her for a blessing. Just in case. Because I, I really want Savannah. Uh, but I don't want to make the mistake and feed the first net 5 of in your collection. Um, <laughs> five star windy. It's cool. I guess I'll build another one. I did plan on building another one. But what I mean by that is you don't want to feed like if it's not a dupe, don't feed it. Fire Hypno Meow. Nice for the collection. I think I, I've got it all three already. We'll see which ones to build. Food for my five star windy. A Kamoon. I wish that was like a Armana or the Bay. That'd be sick. Mm. When Samurai. Wait, was I talking about Martina on the regular legendary? I was like, <laughs> I meant it for these special ones. But no, it's the Water Martina, sadly. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, the Transcendence. What do we get without a blessing? We get a Josephine that I didn't really need, but that's what happens when you don't have a blessing. At least it wasn't a dupe. I'll keep her, um, see what to do in the future. <laughs> I got an F you in chat. All right, um, so this is what I summon. I got a Fire Emperor, Water Druid, Water Hell Lady, 5 Star Windy, and a Water Paladin. Let's go to my Abelio real quick and make sure we lock these Nat 5s. Don't want to feed them. We're going to awaken my Abelio and we're going to probably 6 star him, put some runes on him, and put him in my AD already. There's no time to waste. Alright. We got that Awaken. I already used my Awakening Scroll, I think. Uh, actually, no, I didn't. I ended up using that on someone else after this. We're going to skill him up because he's got to get ready. I think I'm going to do a showcase on him. I don't think he's the best for Guild War offense, but we'll, uh, we'll test him out. 
We'll see how it goes. Maybe do like a triple druid comp or something. Something that's dumb. Something entertaining. Alright. Skill this guy up. He takes a lot of Devilmon. He takes a lot of Devilmon. But luckily I've been saving for a while. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a free-to-play player. I don't spend money. I, I used to, like I think my first year, but I haven't spent money since. Just been grinding. Um, just grinding the game, you know? Free crystals, that's, that's pretty much it. So he used one less Devilmon than I expected. Let's sell these off. All right, let's put this guy in defense mode and replace my aerial with him. See how that goes. So far, it's been good, but let's see how it goes during rush. See if I can get G3 today, this Sunday, the 17th. Happy Easter, guys. Forgot to tell you guys that. Happy Easter. Hope you guys have a good one with your families. I'll be posting what I get from this in another video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great day.